How devastated is Raider Nation right now with the loss of their quarterback as they get said for their first playoff appearance since you were the quarterback? Yeah, it's a devastating loss, Adam, especially for a team that relies so heavily on the passing arm of Derek Carr. And he's had an outstanding season, and really an MVP type season, completing over 64% of his throws, 28 touchdowns, and just six interceptions. And, you know, he's had to do it without a running game for most of the season and a defense that's been very poor. So this is a huge loss for a team that I don't think is good enough on defense. And look, no offense, uh, Matt McGloin is no Derek Carr. This is going to be a major drop off in terms of the production, the consistency they can expect at the quarterback position. That, that's 100 percent right, Rich. The, the, the drop off from Derek Carr to Matt McGloin. Jack Del Rio, you can see in his face. And, and Bruce Irvin, the outside linebacker, after this game said, I feel like we lost this game today because of the loss of Derek Carr and what it means to their season. Everybody in that locker room knows what this guy means to this organization. But as Rich said, they're going to have to change things up a little bit. They do have three running backs that have unique talents. They're going to have to rely more on the running game, I believe, with Latavius Murray uh, and, and some of the other players they've got out there. But uh, Matt McGloin is going to have to play very consistent, solid, and make some plays in this passing game. The coaches do believe in Matt McGloin as a good backup quarterback, but they don't for one second believe he's anything close to Derek Carr. And I felt sick for Derek Carr and for Raider Nation. All right, Trent. Now, with all that said, Week 17, a lot at stake here. Who's ultimately going to win that AFC West? Well, I, I know what you guys think I'm going to say, but I, you know, for me, I think both teams, both the Kansas City Chiefs and the Oakland Raiders, will win this weekend. And the reason I say that is Denver is having a lot of problems when you consider they've lost three games in a row. They've lost four of their last five. They allowed the Chiefs to have nearly 500 yards of offense in the game this uh, on Sunday night. And they allowed the Chiefs to have over 200 yards rushing. So I think when you look at Oakland, I think they will play inspired football for the injured Derek Carr. I think the defense will step up. Matt McGloin's just going to have the responsibility of not turning the ball over and giving the field positions because Denver can't move the football offensively. They're having trouble scoring points. So I think the Raiders will rely on their offense, rely on McGloin taking care of the football, but I do think they end up winning it. And of course, because they have that one game lead, they lose the tiebreaker to Kansas City if they would lose, but I think they win the game. I think Kansas City wins as well. So Oakland is the champion of the West.